yeah. your special was acquired. And then they reach out to you and they're like, we want you to cut a couple jokes out. Yeah. A chunk about like Ted Bundy. There's another like Michael Jackson chunk. It's his Love wheelhouse. Bundy. He loves yeah, this yeah. guy. Yeah. He's, Misunderstood. Knucklehead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah. It yeah. was the women's fault. That yeah. For 100%. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. welcome to your mom's house. Do you need a new mattress? Go to sattva.com slash the shit now for $200 off the next purchase of your Sattva mattress. It's the shit. And welcome to another episode of Your Mom's House. I'm Tom Segura. I'm Christine. Hey, Christine. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Tom. (laughs) It's good to be here. Tim. We are in Los Angeles. Uh, People have pointed out that um, they can't believe we still have this studio. I got an update for you. You're not going to see it for long. Why is that, Tom? Tim? We're going to strip this fucking thing down pretty soon. So we are, we're getting rid of this studio, but we're going to be shipping all the important items to Austin, like yes. the dog head, everything you see behind us, right, Native? Uh, the original Tina tits are going to come, like everything. So Artwork. You will see this stuff in Austin. A lot of it will be in Austin. This is a sacred space for us. We went through a lot. First McDonald's sponsored yes. us. Yes. And then we lost that sponsorship. You had to give back $2.3 million, was which a was lot. a real bummer. Then Morton's. Morton stepped up and gave us two grand to paint it the, this color. And which really that wasn't enough. But, you know, they hooked up a couple discount dinners. It was cool. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I think I, you got a, the, stuff, the stuffed potato. It was with everything. Yeah. It, they didn't put a limit on that. 20% off ribeyes. It was kind of cool. But... Yeah, now we're, um, you know, we're fully committed. We still will come to the West Coast. Obviously, we have a lot of uh, contacts and there's things to do here. But I think we'll be doing it out of a different space when we do come. Uh, really? Yeah. That's well, exciting. I mean, we'll, we'll use a temporary space if a we come. A temp space. But yeah. what will, will it be Guantanamo Bay? Who like, knows? Remember out of any house, that was really cool. Yep. A lot of people preferred Guantanamo Bay. We yeah. got a lot of positive reviews. The, usually the crappier the spot, the more they like it. It's true. Um, they really like that shitty set. They do. Yeah. It, it does It does lend itself to a different type of Here show. Here we are signing deals trying to get sets paid for, and they're like, no, no, hang up a curtain. <laughs> I know. Do it, it is in kind someone's of fun, closet. Yeah. It's a, it, but you know what? I do have to say, it's like maybe it's the scrapper in me, but there is something dope about rolling up to this set and knowing that like we all built this with our bare fucking paws. Yeah. This was, you know, the OG. I remember. I don't know if people. It's cool as shit how much I told this story. I feel like I told it, but I don't remember if I did. But for people that don't know, there was, um, when we were looking for a space here, I actually had somebody who had built sets before. And this dude came with me to look at sets. And then the whole time I was like, well, what do you want for this? He's like, I just want to, you know, I'd like, I'd like to do... I'd like to be a guest on some podcasts. And I was like, all right. And then, you know, he, we just talked about what that would look like. And I was like, yeah. And then I go, the only thing I want to make sure is, is like, I'm going to sign a, a deal. I'm going to sign a lease on this place that you're not going to, you're not going to bail on me. Right. And he was like, no, 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 no. He's like, I just, you know, I want to be involved. I was like, okay. We had long talks about it. And then I signed the deal. I was like, it's signed, man. Like, I got it. When do you want to talk about, like, getting to work on building a set? And he was like, well, what am I going to get for that? Like, what kind of piece of the action will I get? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, you know, I need, like, a percentage of things. And I go, I thought you said, you know, all this stuff. And he goes, well, yeah, but, I mean, I'm not just going to. I go, I can pay you. I offered him, like, cash like here's money to pay he goes no no, no, i I don't want that like i want a percentage of every ad sale i want um to to be yeah i want to be a guest once a month i want um promotions for my things and i was like what are you talking about he was like yeah i can't be involved with you (laughs) and i go wow so i just wrote him an email telling him you know you're out of your fucking mind well just thanks for being exactly what i thought you might be a piece of shit yeah And then, like, it might have been a year later, I got an email from him. 
Like I just he goes, I just want to say I'm sorry for uh, for how that happened. Oh wow! Yeah. And did he I take mean, responsibility for bilking you and not being upfront with his sort intentions? Of, yeah, sort not really. of. Not t- entirely. It's it's totally the show business model. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll wait until you're done texting. No, no, I'm looking up a name. I'm looking up a name. Oh. Keep, keep going. Anyway, it's such like a typical showbiz behavior to not be upfront with what you want. Right, it's mm-hmm. like sign the paperwork. Oh, but we didn't mention that it's going to be blah 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 yeah. blah blah. And you're like, dude, just <sighs> like why? Why are you not up front? Like my pool guy is up front with me. Like here's the rate. Yeah. Here's what it's going to be. Here's the. Reti-. It's like why? Why is there always so much secrecy in this business? Why? It's so stupid. Yeah. And why this guy had to be like this? Um, okay, I found the email. That's what I was looking for. Uh, uh just uh. Let me see if this is how it is. Hey, uh, okay, here it is. Tom, though I know the value of what I provide. <laughs> okay, so, and, so far, no repentance. Go ahead. And I thought I made that clear from the beginning, what would help me provide it. I'm literally haunted weekly by the fact I said, I won't let you down. Um. Uh, this is like, like more than a year later, more. Uh, you know, that's, that's how I've been. I, I try to let people down. If you still, if you still need help, I'm in. This is after we've been like, uh, just thank me on your show. <laughs> just uh, thank me on your show. If you're all set, that's great. Uh, happy new year to you guys. This is like from a few years ago. Uh, and PS post year, I'll have some free time. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy's fucking. Sounds like a cool guy. Yeah. He does. Uh, he doesn't sound very repentant, especially if it starts off with, you know, I've got a lot to offer. I bring a lot to the table. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. not a very. It's like when someone breaks up with you, and then you're like, you know, I'm a pretty great catch, but uh, sorry, I said some stuff. Yeah, and you're like, what kind of? What is this what? letter? What is this? What is this? Yeah. Why do I need this? People are so fucking crazy out here. Yeah, it's a very. That's a very. <laughs> I won't say L.A. message again. It's a very like Hollywood. It's message. showbiz. Yeah, yeah. It's showbiz message of like, remember how I fucked you. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really mean to. I know. Uh, also, if you need me, I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember what? I fucked you over? Would you like yeah. more of that? It's always like that. It's so funny how you just deal with people yeah. for years. And you're just like, wow, that's the nature of this business. They, they just fuck you and your asshole. So crazy. It's wild that it's, it's okay. I have to tell you, though, too, like living in Austin, we're really out of the show business wheel. Yeah. And then coming back into it for just the summer, I'm like, it's different. oh, I it remember is this. Very, it is a real different culture. Like you see it more distinctly now. Mm-hmm. Like my life is so small in Austin. Yeah. It's just like kids, school. Yeah. I'll make the kindergarten moms every now and then for some queso and some tequila do shots. Do a gig and, here and there. Yeah, yeah. It's not this complicated. Um, all right. Let's, let's do the opening clip. Want you? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Pussy. Do what? I never had no pussy. No? <laughs> no? Hell yeah. You gonna Pussy. go you gonna get some? Yeah. Alright. Okay. I'll see you there, everybody. Later, bro. Yeah. Cool. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother and cool. Cool. Yeah. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Mom Saker. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. That's terrible. No? It just tastes like chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> I never had no pussy. Um... <laughs> Guys, oh, this is a TikTok. I was going to say, this should be on TikTok. Yeah. This sounds like one of my catches. At first, I, I thought, I really thought it was a soldier. And I, then he, when he walked for a second, you could see his different pants. Like, it's just, I think it's just a camo jacket. Oh, it's stolen, I mean, he didn't mean that he wasn't valor. in the service. It's a stolen, stolen pussy valor. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. not supposed to wear it, right? If you're not. But yeah. someone tells me he doesn't, he doesn't know It that. could be a jacket he found. Could be a sibling's. Sure. You know. 
He could have he could have been uh, dishonorably discharged, you know. Yeah, he's toast. But it's cool to tell people that you don't know. Hi, hey, hold your window down. <laughs> hey, man, I never had no pussy before. I love do what? Yeah, do what yeah. is such a great like, phrase. Do what? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> do what? Yeah, yeah. Do what is is I mean because we don't say do what in Texas. It's very southern though. But yeah. it, do what is like. You you did what? Like you're saying like yeah. like what the fuck basically? It's what the fuck. Yeah, do it. what? I pussy. love it. Do what? I never had no pussy. <laughs> no. 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 Hell yeah. You gonna pussy. go you gonna get some? <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. Okay. I'll see you there, everybody. Later, Bye. Man. Yeah, he's got something going on. I ain't never had no yeah. pussy. Yeah. He's like, Well you gonna get some then? Yeah. He's I like, like yeah. That he goes, guy. Hell yeah. Like, All right then. <laughs> well what a positive way to respond to that because somebody telling you I never had no pussy at a gas station it might be alarming but yeah. that guy rolled with it and encouraged him well that it's was a nice. good it's a good lesson to, to handle crazy things being said to you yeah is um keeping that upbeat attitude yes and is the best way to not have it escalate into violence yeah you know? <laughs> well it's what the groundlings teaches you in yeah. improv yeah you yes and when you meet a homeless person you <laughs> yes and them <laughs> That's right, yeah. dude. It is the first rule of improv, in case you're wondering. It is to yes and. What it means is that you don't negate what your your other uh, improviser has thrown at you. So in other words, if she goes, these donuts are hot, you don't go, they're cold. Because yeah. then you just fucked you up just, the improv. You just you know? killed the scene. You start to go like, ah, oh God, they're hot. Like you have to you build built. on what the other person says. There you go, Tom. It's a great way to work with the mentally ill as well. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. You think this guy's mentally ill? Yeah. I think he's just, I think he's talked. Is it mentally ill or R-worded? I think he's, yeah, I think he's not well. I think he's R-worded. I think he's not well in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're wandering gas stations. Telling people about your lack of pussy. (laughs) I'm looking for girls. I'm looking for girls. Can I have another sip of that? You just said it. You just talked shit about it. I want to try it again because, you know, I don't, I still don't have my taste buds. I I think I taste like 60%. May I please taste it? Okay. It tasted like straight chemicals when I drank it before. There you go. Like, does DC taste like chemicals to you? Is that what it's supposed to taste like? Kind of. I don't know. Yeah. I'm looking for girls for pussy. Yeah, this just yeah. tastes like chemical. It's yeah. pretty gnarly. But Love no, it. No calories. <laughs> 16 a day. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tastes mm. like shit. There's uh, some real cool stuff out there. Um, something I wanted to show you. Baby's I knew this would get you fired up. That's why where it is. I asked for it. Sure. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Oh Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, um, and it opens up trans people to violence. <sighs> I feel like that guy, Senator, what's his name? Just Senator like, Holly. <laughs> well, this makes me okay. So he's uh, like, yeah. so he's like, wait, we're here to talk about abortion and women, and she's yeah. like, no, we're actually here to talk about the fact that you're transphobic. Yeah, it's like she's totally. It's just pointing out that he's a bad guy. Yeah, you're you're a well, no good meanie. It's so right. dumb. I mean, he might be a bag of shit. I don't really know. I don't know I either. I mean, Senator Hawley, I don't think he's probably a great guy. Like He most looks senators. like a bag of shit. He looks yeah. like a typical Republican douchebag. Yeah, exactly. Don't get me wrong. Right. Yeah. But this is so indicative of why the left is bananas now. <laughs> they are so crazy. So crazy. You go, you're talking about like abortion and reproductive rights. And then someone's like, you mean people with a capacity for pregnancy and then attacks you for being transphobic for talking about it. I mean, that's why, you know, she's a fucking lunatic. Like that's, that's really what this is. And people are scared to say it now. Yeah. People get scared to point out how crazy it is to talk like this fucking psycho. I know. Who's, you know, like, just, just you're just speaking nonsense. You mean people with women's organs? Well, that's how you should talk about it. Because yeah. a trans Let's man go. or a non-binary person that can get pregnant 
has women's reproductive right, because, organs. Uh, look, I think, I think for me, this is just crazy. the whole thing gets convoluted. To me, there should be two things. And maybe this makes sense in my mind. Are there two biological genders? There's male reproductive organs, female reproductive, male, female. Yeah. Sure. That's biological fucking facts. It's called science. Now, within that, you can express that gender differently. Sure, you can yeah. be astral gender. Da, da, yes, absolutely. But to say that there's more than two genders is scientifically fucking inaccurate. So the, the, the man that's pregnant, guess what he has? Yeah. A fucking uterus. Yeah. That makes That's a biological female part. We know. Thank you, Your Honor. I just so. fucking explained everything. God damn it. I get so fucking annoyed with these people. It just makes you want to fucking, you know, tell them. Let me put my tongue in your ass. <laughs> yeah. If someone relies on you financially, a child, a parent, or even a business partner, life insurance gives you peace of mind that they have a financial cushion if something happens to you. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find the insurance you need at the right price. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash mom to get started. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find your lowest price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The licensed agents at Policy Genius are on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. Head to policygenius.com slash mom to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Masterworks. Masterworks is a platform that allows anyone to invest in valuable artwork. What a cool way to invest. High rollers have been investing in alternative assets like artwork to diversify their portfolios for decades. And with Masterworks, anyone can buy and sell the shares they have in artwork worth millions. Artists like Picasso, Monet, Andy Warhol, and more. Contemporary art prices outpaced the S&P 500 total return from 1995 to 2020 by 164%. This is a market that is skyrocketing and it's such a unique way to invest. Contemporary art has a price appreciation of 23% on average when inflation is above 3%. Cool way to invest your money. Masterworks has securitized over $500 million worth of contemporary art. Our viewers can skip their wait list. Go to masterworks.art slash mom. See important regulation A disclosures at masterworks.io slash CD. That's masterworks.art slash M O M. She's like, excuse me, but you're forgetting all these other groups when you say yeah. it's hateful. It's like, it's not hateful. It's like, not, can we just, he was just get being, on with it? Like, it's just common sense. Can we just talk about, you know, can we live in reality for a moment? <laughs> Do we have to be in the fucking upside down every time every we have a conversation? Minutes. Every five, I don't, and I don't know what's, there's nothing illogical about or nothing harmful being like, yeah, there's, there's two biological genders, but people represent that within a spectrum. People yeah. express that within yeah. a spectrum. Yeah, exactly. They express Please it. do not use gendered language. It makes me crazy. These people, and these people ruin reason. She, she had yeah. a great moment to talk to this guy about abortion rights and right. instead she's wasting it on this fucking horse shit. You're putting people at harm. Shut up. Getting people at harm for violence. And just to point out, you're being transphobic. Yeah, like, shut oh, up. shut up. Retard. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, and to be clear, like, Tom and I are not. Every time I feel like I talk about this, people are like, oh, Christina is right wing conservative. I'm not fucking, I'm not, dude. I know. I'm just, I used to be liberal, and then these nutbags took over. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck I am anymore. But I know I'm not. I'm not on this because team here's of the truth. The truth is, these are the new crazies. The crazies were right wingers. I know, right? Ultra right wingers. You're like, you are a the fucking lunatic. Nuts. Yeah. And then everything got flipped to now, like the hardcore left. They are the new fucking psychos. Yeah. Or you can't have a conversation with them. So you can't have a conversation with a tea party person. No. And now you can't have a conversation with this fucking dipshit because she's going to just spin it in. Like, you'd be ha you'd be like, yeah, you know, abortion. She'd be like, let me point out something. You're being really <laughs> transphobic right now. And you're like, okay. Okay. We were just talking about abortion rights. Okay. Um, now so, you just made it about something me, else. Stupid. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go get something to drink. Nice to meet you. But I also think, I, I feel in my heart that life is shades of gray. It's never black and white. It's not like being on one team or the other. It's I know. Like there's, it's always somewhere... 
center. It is, but then it is somewhere right of the center. You can I think, still say that right. all that is true, and that that this is nonsense. This person is spewing nonsense. It's like they these people want a cause. They want yeah. They want a bandwagon on something, and now it's pointing out who's a big bad meanie. Who's this a reminds big me of going to that gun range <sighs> and uh, and posting it, and people are like, "Didn't know what kind of person you were." Um, like unfollowing, <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And they go, "Didn't know you were like a gun nut." I go, "I'm at a gun range, just shooting We're guns, just shooting guns with like at a safe. Like this is just an activity." Yeah. And they're like, "I didn't." I mean, you know, there's gun violence in America. I'm like, "What? What are you talking about?" <laughs> You know, but that's like, that's what this is now. People, you, you go, I'm at a gun range. And they're like, oh, you don't care about children in schools? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Like, exactly. It's, it's just, it's so illogical. It's like that analogy you've seen on like the memes where, where somebody's like, I like apples. And then they go, yeah, but you don't, you don't mention oranges. How do you feel about oranges? Don't yeah. you care? And you're like, God, guys. I guess you can't do it. Yeah. Why can't somebody just be a blend of many be- different. It items, really speaks thoughts. to just the fact that there's extremism. Yeah. And you can be extreme on either side, whether you're far right or far left. Yeah. Either in either case, you are fully retarded. <laughs> so that's the yes. truth. Yes, and also too, I would like to say is that I can listen to what she's saying and go, "Yeah, okay, I'm going to consider that." Like it's not completely untrue what she's saying. Blah blah blah. Yes, mm-hmm. and then somebody on the far right can say something every now and then. And you're like, "Okay, that okay, I guess." Like you can consider different fucking opinions. Too. Sure. Just consider it. Yeah. But in this context, bitch, this is not the time to correct him on his transphobia. It's just live on earth, yeah, you know, like a. live in, in reality. Don't live in this make believe land. Yeah. Don't be the kind of person that, you know, you can't talk about like anything, anything. without crying. Offended. Like this fucking guy. Fucking Everyone I talk space. to who is excited to go back to another Garth Brooks concert is like, oh, he, oh blew, he blew them out of the waters. It's a special experience. <gasps> How do you explain, what is that? What is that special experience that people are getting? I, I wish I knew because yeah. I, I don't feel like it's anything crazy. I just feel like there's a connection. That's nice. Because when I go, try to remember, before you ever step on stage, you're a fan. And so we still go to concerts. Me and Monsieur, we just went to Bruno. Uh, we went to uh, Urban, uh, JT. And in those moments when you're in that crowd, all you want is that artist to look at you for three seconds and you can go, hey, man, thanks for your music. It's been cool. And as an entertainer, it's the same thing. You're just looking in their faces just to say, thank you for my life. Thank you for my kid's life. I can't believe I'm getting to do this. And so I think that connection that goes on, and it doesn't matter where you're at. Now, people go, man, can, can, can the artist see his way up? Yeah, 100%. You can see it, feel it. No, you can't. And so I'll call them out when I do to make sure that they know me and them are on the same line. He's really, he's, you can see his eyes are welling up. You but know. he's making me cry because, like, I feel some similar way, you know? It yeah. is great being an artist. It's special. Sure. Yeah. But, Tom, let's be honest. Can When you're doing these huge venues, can you see the person sitting up in the nosebleeds? Can you no. see their faces? I mean, you can't. No, but I know what he means, like, because, well, he plays music, so you recognize him. So, like, when I walk on stage, I always try to, like, shout out to the balconies, right? Yeah. And, you like, you recognize, and then you do it at the end, right? Or you might, even during the show... But, you know, I, I think his thing is, like, he wants to, like, make eye contact That's what with I'm saying. every person. Which well, what he's claiming is not. Really yeah, it's not true. He's playing awesome. stadiums. So, yeah. yeah his big-ass stadium tour. He can't do that. You can't. Every person. You really do make those connections. Eh? You see someone in the crowd and go, we're doing 100%. this. 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then what's crazy is you see him and go, wait a minute. I've seen you before. And then, you know, they've been at other shows. So it's, it's, a, it's a cool family within the band and crew and within the people that come see the show. Yeah, but. Also, what does that mean? To you to hear those sort of like long, long lasting fandoms. Oh, that's sweet. I don't think it has that much to do with the artist. I think it's got something to do with the music. Mm -hmm. I really do. Because there's something about the music that pulls you, something that strikes in your in your lifetime that you relive all of a sudden you hear. I know because I'm a fan of music. So when you're sitting there all of a sudden, somebody Mm -hmm. might come there for Thunder Rolls. And that's all they're waiting for. Other people come in there for the dance. But then what happens is while you're waiting for your song, these other songs start to fill in your life. And you see what's going on with the people around you. It gets really good, man. Sorry, I'm emotional. It's just, uh, <laughs> I just I love getting to do this. <laughs> you fucking lunatic. Yeah. Can I tell you, I have a new, I, I think I know what it is. What is it? Okay. Whitney will not mind me talking about this because we did on her podcast. Good okay. for you. When Whitney was in Austin, we were in the green room and she was like, I was diagnosed as autistic. I'm technically on the spectrum. Uh-huh. 
And I guess in the moment I had, I had a little something to drink and I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. Like I said it out loud to her yeah. and I didn't mean to. It sounds like something you would do. <laughs> so anyway, we've, we've talked about it since and da, 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 da. And now that I know somebody with it, I'm thinking our friend Garth is uh, on the spectrum. But. What? Hold on, you Anna. Hold on. Remember that time with Trish and he went, <laughs> and then go to that. He's mimicking emotions constantly. Yeah, but he's also feeling emotions. However, Elon Musk will often cry in interviews. I've seen Elon cry. And really? he's asperge as well. Okay. And that's how the um, Australians say it, asperge. Um, Elon's cried. So they're not incapable of emotion. Sure. It's that sometimes they can't. It's the inappropriately maybe. Okay. Could be. I'm going to put the theory out there. If you're, if you're watching this and you're like a person that diagnoses well, can we go, can we Google autism, is, Asperger's, he may is, not be diagnosed. Is G on the, uh, is he on the spectrum or is he? G you know? is an R. Oh my God. <laughs> no, he's not an R, but he's definitely on the, on the Trump. <laughs> He's definitely on the Trump. Yeah. He's a musical uh, genius. He's. <laughs> okay. Don't go. <laughs> Chris Gaines is definitely R worded. Uh, I interviewed <laughs> the cutest lady today out of town, out in the country. And we're talking super fan stuff. And we're like, what's your favorite memory? She's like, listen to the river. High school, in the car, McDonald's drive through, wait for lunch. And we got to get there quick. And all my girlfriends were singing so And she got emotional. I'm like, what a very specific like, yeah. memory. So. It was very cool. She's a great lady. Yeah, she's coming tonight. She's really excited. What's the best like when I hear that song, Garth? And, I, this is what, and you're like, that is that is crazy. I'm gonna cry. Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> is the one stand out for you? Well, I mean, that one right there. I mean, think about it. That just tells me that the river really affects this woman, which means tonight, if I know she's in the crowd, I'll do it. I'm going to try and do it the best I've ever done just for her. That's good. He's about to fucking fall apart right now. And then, you know, I got to tell you something. I feel the same way performing on stage for you guys. You know? <laughs> sure. When you scream bikes. <laughs> or man, show me how those big tits fart when I come out. I go, man, tonight I'm going to yell bikes and I'm really going to think about you and how it made you feel the first time too. <laughs> Just give me a second. All right. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be out in a moment. All right, we are back, and you guys know him if you've ever been on the interwebs, uh, or if you follow comedy. Uh, he's got a special that's out right now. You can go to theandrewschultz.com and see Andrew Schultz infamous. Uh, Andrew Schultz, thanks for coming, man. Hey. Thanks for having me. Hey. Yes, I'm very excited, excited to be here. We're excited to have you. So excited. Um, yeah. You, uh, you, you're like the like the 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 comedian that people are championing because you have been wronged. By corporations, <laughs> I'm a victim. You yes. are a victim. <laughs> you've done the you've done the best job that I've seen since. I mean, I remember in the pandemic, um, you know, you the people did different things. Everyone had to adapt. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you started doing these like like it was like what people who like um, late night monologues. If you go like, oh, I wish these were good. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, like I wish I wish the jokes that because everybody knows comedian like comedy writers who write for these shows and they go like, well, like all the stuff that I gets wanted, cut. That everything gets, gets cut. The writers are funny. They're That's the thing a lot funny. of people don't realize. They don't yeah. know. They, some of the funniest people in the world yeah. are comedy writers on late night television shows. Yeah. And some of the worst comedy in the world. It comes yeah. out of that. Yeah. 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 Well, because they have to sell advertising. Yes. So they want to clean it care. up and yeah. make sure that we don't offend yeah. grandma sitting in Kansas City. So, yeah. and then so then you it fucks guys, up comedy. Because. It totally does. And you guys were putting out these things all the time that were like punching. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, but yeah. you kind of go, it did make you think of like, oh, I wish like the fucking Tonight Show would do this. Yes. Right. You know? Yeah. And like, it worked. People watched them. People watched them. People yeah. were talking about them. And, um, and like, yeah, I think it, it probably, it very much elevated what, you know, your profile. 100%, yeah. And then you also did the thing that I have been celebrating this for a long time, which is when comedians, you know, there, like there was this like thing where I've, I've heard people go like, oh, I, this dude's got a, a special on YouTube. Yeah. So clearly, you know, he's a fucking zilch or something. <laughs> and you go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that YouTube and Netflix actually have the exact same concept, which is we have content. 
and we want you to get lost here. Yeah. We want you to stay. Like yeah. we want you to stay on Netflix. Here's a million things to watch. YouTube has a, a billion things to watch. Yeah. And so you go, actually, you see that like you put it out, uh, Mark Norman, yeah. Shane Gillis, Giannis, like all, all these comedians go like, here's my special. And then you see the view counts. You're like, yeah, I don't think this is a bad idea. Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. These, these yeah. things have like five, seven, 10, 12 million views. Yeah. That means that all these people who didn't, maybe didn't know these guys, and now you see like they're selling tickets. Like this is this yeah. worked the same way. Yeah, 100%. that Netflix did. Yeah, it's almost like it's the new Netflix. Did you? You know what I mean? Like it is the doing it on YouTube is the way to. Yeah, because like, like for me, like when I when I first do, first started doing the YouTube thing, like I just couldn't get on Comedy Central. I couldn't get on Netflix, for whatever reason. Like yeah, nobody they just weren't giving me a shot. And I had like good exposure on like MTV and these types of things, but I yeah. guess. They just, yeah, I guess maybe it was like my brand of comedy or whatever. I hate that fucking term. But yeah. like, I guess they were like a little bit concerned. Like, okay, here's this white guy. He's going to be making fun of a bunch of different like people that don't look like him. Right. And, I, mm -hmm. you know, you keep getting the same response about and punching down or whatever that fucking term is, which is mm -hmm. like in and of itself kind of offensive. Yeah. Because yeah. I never thought of these people as down. Like I grew yeah. up with people sure. of different, you know, cultures. And, uh. And then I and I remember I was like, all right, well, fuck it. I'll just put some stuff out on YouTube. And I put out I put out a special on YouTube. It wasn't even special. It was 15 minutes. Yeah. But it was like four different clubs in New York City. And I and I did it all in one night. And like the cab rides in between. Sure. And it was just like a fun little thing. And I remember like the week after I was at like the San Diego Comedy Company or something uh -huh. like that. Right? Yeah. You know that club? Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I sold it out. Nice. I'd never sold it a club out. You're like, holy shit. And I was like, that's weird. I was like, maybe this is like one of those clubs that like people just come out no matter what. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. like a, like Acme. Yeah. Is like that the the one in um Wisconsin. What's the, the one Comedy in, on State? Yeah, yeah, yeah they just yeah. have like a great yeah. audience. So I'm like, okay. That's weird. And then I did another club. I did like the funny bone or something like that in like Columbus. Mm. And then like that one was sold out. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I started like asking people. After the show, I'd be like, hey, how did you find out about the dinner? Like, oh, I watched your thing on YouTube. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And then I did like a week of of stand-up on YouTube for a year. Oh, so wow. So every week I put a new clip out for a year. Wow. And I was fortunate because I'd been touring for so long without having any stand-up out. Yeah. So I had a bunch had a of bunch stuff. Of material. Right. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I think YouTube and Instagram, this is the way. And like, I remember one time a clip went viral and it was, I had this, it was like on Super Bowl Sunday, I had a joke and it was like, uh, I was like, uh, yeah, countries that treat women the worst have the best food. Yeah. And it that's was, a funny fucking <laughs> bit. Dude. Okay. Right. So yes. it's like, and it's weird. Like people that have saw, saw the bit and it was just like Reddit made it fucking go. Yeah. And like everything else trickled down after that. I'm sure you guys experienced this too. Like one thing goes viral. Like yeah. when you guys fucking made Andrew Tate a superstar remember that when now that my whole fucking algorithm is andrew tate like yeah. dude, i can't even open tiktok with my wife because every other video is like bitches need to be quiet put their number on the forehead dude, right? dude, yeah, dude. it's you know, your guy's fault you know 100 percent your guy that when i did I you had to spit out the fucking coffee if you didn't spit out the coffee was, oh, when i did God. uh my birthday shows in chicago they were at an, an arena, and on my birthday, they they played a supercut of people wishing me birthday, my happy birthday. Please, and tell it was me. like, it was like Mulaney, yeah. Chappelle, <laughs> Bert, like all these people, and then Andrew Tate, and they went. Well, they went crazy. And also, <laughs> that week, he was arrested for trafficking women. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, dude. And so you hear people go like, oh. I was like, oh. Whoops. Yeah, charges were dropped. Bro. I want to say, Tate. I know those charges were dropped yeah. and you didn't do anything yeah. wrong. So I didn't know yeah. the charges were dropped. Yeah. And I still wanted them on the podcast. Yeah. Because He's it was hilarious. like, it was just charges. Yeah. You know? And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he was talking a lot of shit or whatever. But He's like, fucking fantastic on Mike. He's I mean, funny. He is, so funny. And he's, look, I'll be honest. That he is a smart guy. He's yeah. actually a very yeah. smart guy. Yeah. Super articulate. Has like He's charming. He's charming. And he actually gets that. It's a joke. It he gets the joke. he gets that he's entertaining you. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. sometimes you listen to him and you're like, is he fucking right? Yeah. I think, I think like, this guy's <laughs> fucking right. You're like, like do I agree with this man? You're like, am I a you dumb do? woman? Yeah. I should know my place. <laughs> yeah, but 
everybody's not wrong about stuff sometimes. Sometimes no. like, guys, there's like moments where like guys will say the most outlandish shit, but then like add a joke and then yeah. it just makes it kind of charming. Like there's that Sean Connery interview, you know, when he yeah, talks when he about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. At the end of it, he says a joke and then what's her face laughs. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, f- yeah. I forget the joke. Barbara but Walters. It, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Barbara, Wal- and Barbara Walters kind of chuckles and it's like, oh, you are James Bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, nobody can stop you. Like, yeah, you can talk yeah, about yeah. why you should hit a woman and then make the well, woman laugh so, immediately so afterwards. So what's interesting with this whole being offended culture is Barbara Walters came up at a time when it was really hard for a woman to yeah. be an interviewer. And she truly got shit on by the patriarchy and this yeah. and that. And here's Sean Connery being like, I like to hit women. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah. and she LOL. Sometimes it's the like, only option. Yeah. yeah. It's your fault. <laughs> like that. <laughs> he did say, he's like, you've tried everything he else. tried everything yeah. else. tried everything yeah, else. Yeah, and they the just keep up. going. Yeah. They keep pushing you got to kind of put her in her place but even yeah. she was light enough to laugh at the, she at did the there was some he had like, like a witty okay. reaction yeah i forget uh i forget the final fucking line but yeah, yeah anyway it's so funny i don't know where we're saying yeah so just like putting this stuff out and i found out that that youtube and like instagram the algorithm really helps you it's like what happened with yo know, netflix early on like you guys were part of this but i also see you guys as like you were successful in your own right outside of Netflix. It's not like you guys were made by Netflix. Do you know what I mean? Like you yeah. guys have built up your ecosystems. I'm yeah. sure like Netflix yeah. definitely helped propel yeah, yeah, you. for sure. But you were established in terms of like your fan base and the people that knew and that was probably increased by the exposure. Sure. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But then we also saw people that went from like barely headlining to being like superstars yes. because of, of an amazing special on Netflix. Like Ali Wong fucking crushes it yeah. Yeah. and then overnight, boom. Huge star, yeah. So like back in the day, I would do a Netflix special for free. Sure. Yeah. Like, if you were smart, you would, and you just go hit it on the road. Recoup. People used to hit me up and go because they thought it was like my friend at Netflix, yeah, yeah, and they would go, "Hey, can you call someone there and tell them that I'll pay to be on?" I'm like, "It yeah. doesn't work. I can't be like, hey, that, my friend will give you twenty grand <laughs> to be on the platform." But that person was low key smart. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's a billboard, yes, right, and the people sure. are going to see it. So, and then I noticed what was happening is like I did that Netflix special, and I was like, I think this is really good, and like we saw like a little bump. But it wasn't crazy. Uh-huh. And we worked like really fucking hard on that. I'm day. sure. We fucking yeah. killed ourselves. And I was like, hmm, if I just kept putting this on Instagram and YouTube, mm-hmm. we probably would have grown more. Like, is something changing? Like, what's going on? Wow. And then I think what it is is like YouTube can be honest with the algorithm because yeah. uh, they don't make shit. Yeah. That's like, interesting. Everything Netflix makes is 90%. Yeah. When they see how many people liked it, right? You look, you're like, what are the reviews? Uh, 90% people yeah. liked it. Yeah. Right? And it's like, that's impossible. Of course. Right. Of but course. YouTube can be like, nobody likes this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And YouTube can also be like, everyone likes Andrew Tate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because you fucking do. Yeah. And then, so I saw that kind of move and I was like, okay, this is kind of where the fucking people are. And this, this really worked out. And I think that's why you saw so many guys that are putting out the YouTube specials having this, you know, I don't know, great like it movement is in their career. Fucking fantastic. Like, I, I couldn't think of, like, I think about, I'm just a few years older than when it was really something to consider but like for me it was um i did i'd done an album right i think i recorded it in 09 and it came out in 2010 and i tried to get a special in 2012 and they were like ah they, they you know because i'd done a comedy central presents yeah and they go well um they said you're gonna get one but just like not right now but <laughs> i had an, an hour and i was like no i want to put it out now so albums were still pretty popular yeah like you could still do well with an album so I, I did the thing where I just went, you know what? I'm going to hire an engineer and a photographer for the uh, artwork. Like, it's a simpler thing. Yeah. But then I put it on a service that puts it on I. So I just didn't Smart. have a partner. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, then yeah. all the checks would right come to, to me. You. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I was like, oh. And then people would go, you know, you could have done this with, like, Warner Brothers. I go, it'd be in the same place. Yep. Like, they would, you know, it's just being yeah. able to say... Warner Brothers did it, or yeah. Comedy Central Records did well, it. Well, the didn't make sense. a great equalizer. Absolutely. And you know what's interesting, what you're saying, too, is I'm learning this now, because there are people on TikTok, I'm obsessed with TikTok, yeah. um, that have millions of followers and are not stand-up comedians, but yeah. now they are selling out venues. Yep. So they're it's TikTok insane. stars it's first, insane. and then come and see me do something over the weekend, which is fine, yeah. but who knows how much of that audience they'll retain because maybe their live show is not as strong. Yeah, you get one lick. You do. One lick. But here's the interesting thing. Now I feel, and I my sense is that because the clubs aren't fostering feature acts as much anymore, that stand-up is becoming like this dying thing. And I feel like we in the future, we're going to have to be like viral stars first. 
And then stand-up's second. That's interesting. I, I, I'm like, yeah, I see what you're saying where like there's less maybe grooming of the young talent. There really is. There's They're not, not like a, featuring I think New people. York, you guys have a little different view of things because of the New York system. Yeah, of like, we're like kind of caught in that bubble. Well, yeah, there's like, you know, 12 clubs or something yeah. and like everyone can do spots. You can also live as a comedian in New York yeah. doing spots. That's right? the thing a lot of people don't realize. They don't realize You can that. make a living doing spots. Can't do that right. here. I no, went to can't. LA, they gave me a check once with coins in it. Yeah. <laughs> it was $7.50 yeah. and it had two quarters. Yeah. Right. And I was like, nah, I'm good, bro. Like, yeah. just give yeah. it to the bartender. Like, yeah. no, this is your money. You, you earned like, this. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like most of America is that. Yeah. Is that way where you're like, no, you need to... Like foster this young talent, like have them develop. The clubs don't have feature acts anymore, where they'll put them up for the weekend and pay you peanuts. It, they're not doing it. Yeah. That's true, and that's like that's. Hmm. If you no have access to the clubs, like if you're in a big city, you can start putting your stand up on TikTok and you start building that up. But you're saying if you're in a city that only has one club and people are bringing their features in, when there's they're like headlining, there's nothing to support them. Man. There's no yeah. There's and also yeah. the clubs aren't like when I started featuring. They were like, all right, you're, you know, they came through like you can work like these fifteen clubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, well, oh, okay, like that's how I'll get better at this. And they're not even really doing that anymore for they're people. They're not because and they're not the, like we'll put you up. They're like, no, we sold our condo. Yeah, like, you figured yeah, yeah, it out. Yeah, well, yeah. plus and it's the same pay. Yeah, yes. plus, yeah. plus the yeah. pay is the same pay as thirty years. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like hookers like still get a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> not hookers, <laughs> strippers or whatever. Yeah. Like it's the same. There's like no inflation at the yeah. strip club. But but what I'm saying to you is that why would a club? help out the feature act or whatever and the headliner and give the feature act the Sunday night when they can just book a TikTok star who sells out the right. whole weekend. Yeah, because at the end of the day, they're no a bar. Incentive. Yeah. yeah, They're a bar restaurant. They're trying to fill it up. That's what and they like, care about. Yeah. The live experience is almost like a meet and greet. And that's yeah. something that's kind of existed that way. Like, like we love stand-up, right? So we enjoy giving the crowd the best night of their life. That yeah. is something that we kind of like came up. I imagine we all probably watched similar comics growing up. We're sure. like, I don't want to fucking crush like that. I yeah. want people wheeze, whatever it is, right? Yeah. But the the audience, I think a lot of times, wants to just be there with you mm -hmm. and be in the same room with this person they look up to, they listen to every single week. That's really exciting. The amazing show is almost like icing on the cake yeah. for most. If you're a diehard comedy fan, that's one thing. But if you're the average fan, they probably just like, I want to be in the room. I want to feel that experience. Yeah. And I want to maybe I can't shake hands, but I'll get close. I'm 20 feet away. Yeah. And I think that's why the TikTok star works mm. one time. And then after you go and you're like, oh, he's way funnier on TikTok. Yeah. Or she's way more interesting on TikTok. I don't really think that I need to go see that again. I met her. Done. Done. Yeah. And I think that's why, like, there might be a wave of this. And then it doesn't happen again. Because no, yeah. they tell you, you know, the yeah. first rule you yeah. learn about when you start selling tickets, they're like, yeah, it's about selling tickets next time. Yeah. yeah. You want people to Building. come back to the show. I think Louis said, I think this is Louis. So I got it. He was like, every great show buys you one bad show. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Right. Yeah. Like you crush in Vancouver. They're coming back next time you yeah. go to Vancouver. Yeah. But you got to. He also said, uh, what's yeah. the best. Stay on that bed. What's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Like he said, ah, yeah, free Louis, free Louis, free Louis. He said, free uh, he goes, what's the best thing someone can say after your uh, shows are over um, on the weekend, right? What's when are you coming back? No. All right. I couldn't get tickets. So he was like, be real careful about how many shows you add because he's like, what you want is for yeah. people to be like, Fuck. Yeah. yeah. You got to get I them next get time. The yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then immediately they're buying tickets. Yes. Next time. You know what now the they go. Is. They go, I tried to see them. Yeah. They just put it on set. Like, yeah. Yeah. That, that's the, I don't know. That's the fire thing that I always like admired about like the touring comedians is like, you really know how many people fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's no like muddy area. Like, there are people who are maybe like more institutionally famous, if you yeah. will. They're on like big yes. shows, but like they yeah. tour and it's real light. Yes. And it's like because you're the player on the team that people like. Yeah. Like, there are players on the Knicks that I, I like because they're on the Knicks. Right. And if they get traded, they could fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? And yes. I think, I think that's a lot of people. Maybe that are on these like institutions. You have like an SNL. It's like, how much do people fuck with you? Mm -hmm. Or how much do people fuck with the show? Mm -hmm. Right. And that's, yeah. 
That Honestly, is that's so true. That that's is a hundred percent yeah. true. And that's the thing, like this, the scary thing about putting out the special like this, but also like the kind of fun thing is like, I'll I'll know my number of like worth. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, like I'll literally know the number that I should be paid to do comedy. You yeah. know, that's another gross that's really term cool. I learned from a promoter is that they go, they go, this is going to sound like, like, a, you know, kind of gross to you, but they go, when we are in like promoter meetings, we say like, uh, you know, like, uh, what about Schultz? And then someone will go, what's he worth? And that means like, what is, what is, how do we view? What is your value? Yeah. What is your value to yeah. me? Like we just talked about you guys, like how much does this steak cost? Yeah. You know? Like what's he worth? What is he fucking so worth? Gross. Yeah. And is it worth the whole weekend or one? Yeah, show? just like whatever. It, well, it depends on the, the type. Like, so yeah, the mark. So it's like, well, he's worth ten thousand seats here or something. Or they're like, he's so worth this. Grody, yeah. yeah, you're just you're just an animal to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a cam girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude. But dude, this I was My telling you about this. Tate, dude. You're fucking. <laughs> you have the special. Like we're, we just said to be clear, we're recording this a few days before it comes out, but this. uh episode comes out a few days after so you can still go you can go to the andrewschultz.com and watch the special but the story about this first of all i would say this when your tour was going on you're probably you're definitely the best marketer of your shows because i would Dude, see your clips you, where i'd be like what in the fuck is happening like there's like <laughs> like fucking gun like goddamn shirt cannons <laughs> yeah. and then people dancing on stage i'm like this is a show right yeah, this is yeah. like a we full experience and i got great guys that work with me on all this so yeah, they, I, they, I, yeah you know you guys know what it is you know build a business you need great people you need so great like, people absolutely yeah, yeah. but like it's, it's not like a like a super fun show and then you you made a deal like uh, like we all hope to do for specials. Yeah. Your special was acquired. And then um, afterwards, I mean, this is a story that I saw even on Instagram. They reach out to you and they're like, we want you to cut a couple jokes out. Yeah. Because we just feel like there's going to be backlash. We don't really want to deal with it. So how yeah. about you edit this? Yeah. I mean, was your response immediate or did you like, did you have a thing where you're like, I got to think about this? Like, what are they asking? I want to know what the jokes were. Yeah. And I want to know like what the lines were. Because like, look, I know it's fucking it's edgy and I understand like when you're doing a, a special with a network, you're not like you're entertaining their whole audience. Yeah. And some of their audience, like kids shows, some of their audience, like, like serial killer documentaries. Like if it's my YouTube page, it's like everybody who goes there knows what they're getting. Yeah. So you can't really be that upset unless I put out something shitty on my YouTube page. Like, yeah. yeah. Be upset. Sure. So, I understand like their limitations. I don't even like hate the streamers in any way. Like I understand like I, you you don't care as much about stand up as I do. I right. fucking love this. Sure, you love building a business. That's awesome. You have kids in fucking school. You don't want them to not be able to go to school. You have a yeah. new house. Like I I empathize with you. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not going to edit the jokes because I know more than you that people like them. Right. You were, you think people might not like them. Yeah. I know they like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Mm -hmm. so they came and they were like okay there are these lines and I'm like I don't really think that that's bad there's like a there's the abortion joke that they were a little worried about there was a, a line I thought was so fucking silly I thought it was really funny I, it was um, a Harry Potter reference I just a fetus deletus is the thing and I just thought it was like and they're saying delete that yeah yeah yeah, they were like, Stop. that's, they, I don't know why the fuck that they thought maybe there's it's like um, making it, it too childish or something i don't know what the fuck it is it was a very weird line that's so weird that, that i was like and that is just so silly and then there was other like chunks there's like a a chunk about like ted bundy there's another like michael jackson chunk and then this is wheelhouse bundy. he loves yeah, this yeah. guy so yeah, a cool guy okay yeah He's, misunderstood knucklehead yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of, right yeah it yeah. was the women's fault that yeah. for 100 yeah. percent yeah, yeah. <laughs> A hundred percent. First of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. give the guy, I mean, look, he's a good looking guy. He's charged up. He's <laughs> smart. All right. He, yeah, he tried. He failed out of law. He didn't fail out of law school, but he could yeah. have been a good lawyer. Yeah. yeah. And if you weren't being such a fucking bitch, yeah. you know. Dumping him. Yeah. He's, he's right? a catch. He's a good catch. He is yeah, a catch. Back in the day, him? an Absolutely. educated man like that, yeah. that yeah. handsome. And he's naturally handsome. This is before people could fix their teeth or mm -hmm. their yeah. face. Like, Eyebrow, all He that. was hot, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, he's there's a, a, a little creepy in the he, stairs. He, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, there's a long not, stare. there's not a lot of not a lot of feelings behind his eyes. But I mean, yeah, you know, the guy loved to read. Who doesn't like a good reader? True, true, true. true. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I, yeah, I, I agree. Sever Completely your head misunderstood. Off and, and anyway, they they were not feeling it, and uh, <laughs> they were not. And um, 
So oh, you just sold me my ticket. I'm right. I know. I'm just I saying. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're, that's my wheelhouse, bro. But this yeah. here's the thing. This has okay. You told that story, and it's, it's so funny. It's like the simplicity of posting that story. It really yeah. is. Like you post it on Instagram. Yeah. Kind of makes the right like people see it. Yeah. And now you know it's been up at, at the point that you're seeing this, but people are buying tickets to see it. I go to dinner last night. Big movie producers. One of them goes, uh, you know, we're just like talking about general things. And he goes, uh, oh, do you know Andrew Schultz? And I go, yeah. And he goes, I just read this thing. Um, this story is fascinating to me. So he's, he tells the whole story. Yeah. And the the other guy, who he's like, I don't know who that is. He, starts, he looks you up and he's like, oh, yeah, I think I've seen this guy. He tells him the story about the special and how they wanted to edit it. And he goes, so then he bought it back. And, did it. and the other guy goes, oh, I'm buying a ticket to that right now. Ah, and he goes it. and he goes and he buys the ticket. You know, because I feel like people who... A, love comedy, and B, hate censorship yeah. and any type oh, of like a I corporation telling you you cannot do this. Yeah. Man, they're just getting behind it for the love of both, like yeah. the love of comedy and like and pushing back against. Well, and isn't this what we were talking about at the top before you arrived? Is this is such a fucking Hollywood thing of like, yeah. We, yeah. Andrew, Andrew, we love you. Yeah. Let, let me guess how that conversation went. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the money. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, but just, yeah, there's yeah. just one little thing. Could you just change yeah, who yeah, you yeah, are? Yeah, yeah, Could you it's, just? It's, yeah, but it's, it's worse. Like, Fuck you. It's worse yeah. than that because it's at first it's you know what? Here's the money. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Well, it's it's not like they're like, hey, yeah. make sure we when you record. Yes. You don't do Which that. That's the thing. They they knew, and what happens is of course they know. But culture changes. That's yeah. the crazy thing. Yeah. You can't control culture changes. So it's like the Chappelle trans thing happened. Yeah. Right. And I think companies got fucking terrified because they're like, oh, shit, this is the backlash that a company is getting because of a comedian doing yeah. a joke. And if the biggest guy on the planet gets that backlash, yeah. what is a less big guy going to get? So, so that's the situation they're in. So it's like, oh, you changed your mind. Yeah, you changed your mind. You but thought it was fine before, and now it's you different. Didn't, you didn't know that this is something that can happen, but yeah. we but, changed our mind. But what yeah. is quote? But let's think about this. What is the great backlash? Real, truly? Yeah, it's is it, not. Is it's it? Not. Is it this narrow community of fucking crybaby pussies? Yeah. Who are just looking to complain about some shit? Yeah. And it really should be the corporation's duty to go like, okay, I'll tell enough you. nonsense. Let's yeah. get up. The majority of people are on board with Chappelle. I'll tell you exactly who it is. It. <laughs> many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity oh. for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize what? that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, <laughs> yeah, this, love this right guy, is so boring. Like, I love this guy. So this um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence. Uh, what? But these, are the, these are the same lunatics who will go like, Dave hey, Chappelle Dave Chappelle, you're putting people in danger with your, with your joke. I'm like, wait, what? What are you yeah. talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah. What is happening? Yeah, that's, that's the tricky thing. Is my, boy, my boy Charlemagne, you guys know Charlemagne. Yeah. Charlemagne sent me that clip, and he was just like dying laughing. He's like, nah, this is too far. And I was, <laughs> like, I was like, buddy, it's like, we tried to storm the Capitol, man. It's like, this is what happens when you stop us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, we tried. Yeah, I feel like you're looking at me like I really tried. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no I saw, I saw, you. Like, I saw you, the picture. Uh, you talked to the FBI afterwards. Yeah, That's wait it. a minute, you yeah. were in those guys. Yeah, <laughs> no, I wasn't there. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I didn't know. You had a bigger beard. I remember the Viking helmet. <laughs> no, um, every guy that stormed the Capitol looked like me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just with fucking like tinted shades. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. But yeah, yeah, it's just ridiculous. People aren't that upset. And it's no, no. no. The majority of people do not give a fuck. No. I mean, like you even. Yeah, just about even like the 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 Chappelle situation. That was obviously, you know, super annoying. I think even like the trans community, like you actually talk to trans people. Like I was able to talk to some trans people and like the, the trans community is actually really worried about like kind of getting like killed if they're on a date. Yeah. Like they're not worried about swimming. Yeah. Like I, I was talking to a kind of she was like, we don't even that's annoying to us. Sure. Because it shifts the focus. Yeah. And we kind of got to support her because she's one of us. But yeah. reality, we want to be like, bitch, quit swimming so yeah. we could not get killed when we go out on a date. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Bitch, so. quit swimming. Yeah, yeah like, right. like, what are you swimming for? Yeah, are you helping? That's true. Like, are those people truly helping that community? Yeah. But what's fascinating about being canceled and cancel culture 
is that it seems like, because I've been doing a little experiment on Twitter, um, <laughs> where I tweet stuff, I'm just like, what's going to ruffle feathers today? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it really is just about what's in the zeitgeist. Yeah. Is, is the feathers you're going to ruffle on yeah. that particular... Outrage make, is currency. Yeah. Yes. And like currency and like outrage has a hierarchy. That's something I learned through this too, is like I put out that like, Thing where I was talking about what happened in the special. Yeah. And like obviously comics and community supported and like people who, you know, know me, they support it. And then I put out later the the feed is the leadest clip. And I dropped that like whole abortion piece. It's like a longer piece. And like that's what the media picked up on, right? It was a yeah. trifecta of like comic, censorship, abortion. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like it was all three were enough buzzwords. Ding, ding, where ding, 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 exactly. Ding, ding. And, yeah. and I saw something like interesting. It was like, yeah. I didn't know if conservatives were like religious first or conservative first right mm. and and i i saw a lot of them be like listen jokes got to be jokes you got to be able to joke about abortion that's yeah. a touchy subject especially right uh, now oh, yeah yeah and then a lot of conservatives were just like yeah we can't do this censorship shit and i thought it was really interesting i was like yeah. "Ooh, okay that that is that more important than god yeah yeah. Now let me ask you this: When that all stuff dropped, did your pre-sales go? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like it was. People were very, people were very into it. And that's the trickiest thing about even like marketing is like, I they a lot of like different political sites want me to go on, and I like people not knowing where I lie. Yeah. That to me is like the best thing about being a comedian is yeah. I I want you to have no fucking clue. Like the abortion piece I put out you see the comments like both sides kind of feel heard. Mm. Yeah. And that's odd. Yeah. Which is a great place to be. Right. I yeah. don't want you to know how the fuck I feel about it because yeah. I'm loyal to the jokes. Yeah. I care about jokes. Yeah. Like if I was a political activist, I'd go do that. Yeah. Like that kind of comedy annoys me. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's just like, you don't really care about that. You want people to. You're just your message. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So like for me, I got to say no to certain articles or magazines i know i could fucking probably run numbers up if i just leaned into that cozy position sure but then they're gonna mascot me and then That's i can't do the jokes scary. i want to do and you don't want to do that no. exactly and you see people do that they just like fold into the comfort like once you're ostracized what? yeah they fold into the comfort oh of we were side. just talking about, about yeah. some people you know very well oh really well yeah who like in it because people do that where they they get cast aside by and then they have to find some uh, somebody to embrace them or a group to embrace it's lonely them. being alone yes yeah. of course so yeah. it's like i see how they do it and it's cozy when everybody's supporting you yeah but if you want to do this for a long time you kind of got to be true to the thing you're doing yeah you got to really care to about the that jokes yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it's my loyalty to the jokes. jokes. Like, just run it up. Like, let's let's make fun of everybody, and then sure. that's always the ethos of the show. Like, is everybody's gonna get these jokes? You know the the other. Yeah. So you mentioned uh, like this uh, when they go like, "Don't punch down," and it, <laughs> it sparked this memory where I did this interview once. And we were talking about this guy was talking about my special, and he was like, "Yeah, you know this and that and that," and his comment. And then he goes, and I guess you know the whole thing is just uh, don't be a dick, right? And I was like, "No, no." No. I go, sometimes being a dick's the funniest thing. It is. And some of the most famous comedians are like, you would go like, that guy's a dick. Yeah. Like, who made career? Like, you can be like, oh, Ricky Gervais is a dick. Like, the fucking, <laughs> such a funny fucking guy. But like, he's a dick, right? Yeah. Like, Tosh, like, for Tosh, sure. Tosh, dude. Oh, he greatest made, he dick made of a, all time. Like, the fucking, his whole thing was like, I am a dick. So I just, Don I remember Rickles, that. Dick. I go, that's like a, don't be a dick in real life. Yes. Yeah. That is a good rule. Yeah. But some, if you're going, what's the funniest thing to say here? Sometimes the funniest thing to say is something that is fucking rude yeah. and insensitive. That's what's Always. funny. Like it's, it's the impulse. Humor's right? not right. Yeah, no. Right? Like, take my wife, please. That's not right you're to right. say, right? Yeah. But it's in deep down, you had right. a feeling. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people confuse. It's like, what we're saying, we know are lies yeah. sure. a lot of times. Yeah. But they're the funniest version yeah. of it. Absolutely. And if you could just separate that from truth. Like, I did this talk with these, like... um these uh, like intellectual dudes, you know how they always try to bring us into like, what does comedy mean? Yeah, like, yeah. What is our purpose in society? Nothing Are we supposed to expose shits. the truth? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what? no. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't even want to be on stage <laughs> with you guys. No. Like you guys say things that are true. I talk about my dick yeah. in the yeah. funniest way yeah. possible. That's yeah. it. That's it. Like, yeah. don't yeah. give me the expectations of a politician. Yeah. Give me the expectations of a comedian. Yeah. Like yeah. the lowest possible. Sure. Is it's this going to be a funny thing? That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because I, I put my clips Ted on. Ted Bundy is misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. He's so much funnier <laughs> yeah. than so, he's a like, bad man. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Like, we know that's not yeah. true. But a little part of us is like, 
50? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Some of those women probably, yeah. right? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, 50. 50? I mean, lot. here's the thing. It's they weren't. Here's okay. None of them deserve to die. Let's go. Let's go. I literally have a line in the special. Really? I go. They deserve to die. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I'm just saying no. this. It is definitely possible that not all of them were good people. You know what I mean? Like, Out of like 50, there's like, there's some a few. Turns. A few of them were like, <laughs> yeah. this is it. Do you know who got murdered? And somebody was like, I'm not gonna miss her. Yeah. This know? is like, comedy. Yeah, Can yeah. we justify the worst thing? Yes. Yeah. This is it. This yes. is all we do. Don't put us yeah. on a fucking pedestal. You know, Melissa was kind of a cunt, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure bro. he didn't pick good people. That's I was, for I was, sure. This is what happened. With, a, I was, few, a few were good. A few were good. Probably, okay, let's give you all were good, right? Like, yeah. even if that, I was watching it the, with my, my wife, and this is what the fucking, the, the joke was, I, it was <laughs> like he was driving a tan Volkswagen Beetle, and that fucking, st- mm. it, and like the line he would get to get the girls in, he would be like, he'd be like, hey, my car's broke down, can you help me fix it? Yeah. And I'm like, this worked? Like, yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. I was like, they all deserved it. Like yeah. every single one. Yeah. Like the worst car, yeah. broken, and yeah. a lady is going to help you fix it? You, well, what like, straight woman knows how to fix a car? In 1970. Yeah, that's yeah, so stupid. It's so I don't know shit about So like cars. to me and I'm obviously I'm infuriating my wife as I'm like, you know, she's sitting there like, yeah. you know, this is horrible, this <laughs> yeah. is gut wrenching. This could happen to me and I'm just like, why would they fix it? They yeah. don't know how to fix cars. Why would they like, even go? I don't fix cars. Yeah. 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 I'm like, why does this loser? He can't there's, afford a mechanic, yeah, you there fucking was loser. That <laughs> one girl that's that why he, you're alive. Uh, yeah, you fucking stupid. Get out of here, you he lazy He put his schmuck. arm in a cast, you know, in a sling. Oh, that one's a good one. And, he, and, he, and he'd have books. And he's like, can you help me carry these books? Fuck you, carry and your own the, books. And the one girl helped him carry the books. <laughs> oh, no. And then he pulled out a club and he clubbed her. Cool. And then she said to him, are you are you supposed to help me with my Spanish homework? <laughs> oh, my like, God. Like, she said that to him. And when he told that story, he told that story when he was on death row to the FBI investigator. No, they didn't. He he <laughs> no, 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 he no, laughs. No, no. He goes he goes he goes. I just thought it was funny. But it is kind of funny. She was kind of stupid. Yeah, he's like, what a dummy, right? I'm gonna kill her. She thinks I'm her Spanish tutor. <laughs> Yeah, he was a real goofball, that guy. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> he did have a good sense of humor. He had a sense of humor. Yeah. That's what we found. We found about a lot of these guys. Funny guys. Funny guys. Funny guys. Yeah. Yeah. Funny guys. Yeah, but what happened when people, like, why do people think that stand up has become a TED talk? Like, John I, Stewart. You think so? The great John Stewart. He was so good that I think it warped people's idea of what comedy is. He's, he wow. really is. He was he so is prolific so at, like, comedy. Here's how yeah. good he is. Republicans loved him. Yeah, yeah. That's when you. That's get, true. He couldn't be more like progressive mm-hmm. and like good natured. Yeah. Big heart. Um, I, I feel like a, like a do the right thing person who people like absolutely disagreed with, and they're like, I fucking love that because he's, he's authentic. He's pure. He's pure, a fucking good guy. He's still fighting for. And like, he's so yeah. smart though. Yeah. Like to be yeah. that <laughs> level. If if you want TED Talk funny and have it be legit funny, it's actually yeah. funny, yeah. not like you yeah. have you're to clapping because so you agree. Smart. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. so smart. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Hit it. Christ. Yeah. Hit it. Thank you. Hit it. Where's Ow. Bundy? Ow. Ow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Too bad he liked brunettes, right? Like, Thank <laughs> you. No, I, yeah, that's the thing. I always think about that. Like sometimes like um, generations expectation of comedy is shifted by one person. I'm sure it happened like with us, with our parents, et cetera. Yeah. You know, they saw like, I remember my dad telling me about listening to Pryor. Yeah on a record for the first time, yeah. just at a party, and they were just playing it. People listen to comedy at parties. How fun. Yeah, just and probably laughing and drink, right? Yeah, but just yeah. like hanging out. But like that now is your expectation, so now you can digest the wild stuff if he's the person. I think I think John was just so prolific, and the yeah. show was so popular that I think a lot of people start to go, oh, comedy can be right and funny. Yeah. And, and I also think, yes, and I agree. And I think that <laughs> some comedians, when they get really, really, really popular, stop making jokes and they yeah. become the Mashiach. And now everything they say is just fucking uh, brilliant. Nadav loves when I incorporate Hebrew into my language. Uh, yeah. um, a, great, a great example of this, who I absolutely adore, was Bill Hicks. And yeah. towards the end of his life, a lot of those jokes became TED Talks. We were yeah. like, wait, what, where, what are we doing here? Bill? I think that's why younger generations don't get Carlin. Yeah. Like if, if yeah. you know what I mean? Like, they, cause they didn't see the evolution of Carlin. Like even with Chappelle now, like the kids don't know Chappelle show. They don't know the yeah, earlier specials. That's right. You know, even like in their twenties. So they're just going in 
to this special. Yeah. And they're going, okay, or this guy, this guy's doing a lot of talking. He's saying these great stories and he can hold attention like masterfully. Unbelievable. But the the expectation is not maybe met for them because we're going, oh no, that guy's the best yeah. ever. Right. Like ever. Yeah. Yeah. because we saw for what it's worth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right. we saw yeah. all these specials leading up to it. So that's the thing about that's the thing about like the youth youth is undefeated, bro. Like yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like youth is going to change perception and they don't know all the things that you did your entire career. So like you're fighting for it every time you go on stage. Yeah. And I kind of, I love that. I like, like, I don't know. There's certain guys that it feels like every time they're trying to prove themselves. Like that's kind of what I want to do is like every yes. time yes. I want a reason that you become uh, too, like an Andrew activist Shaw. on stage though Oof. is because you don't have the same pressure that you felt intuitively before you had, huge success to be funny and, right and so like when no one knows you, you remember you go do a spot you're like your whole thing is like i just I have yeah. to, i want to do great i want to kill right yeah you're, you're trying to convince people who have no idea who you are that you're yeah. funny yeah and then like when you get a huge following and everyone's like you're really funny yeah you have to put that pressure on yourself yes because it's not they're not going to be like yeah you know are you funny they're like no you are funny yeah so then you have to manufacture the pressure that's why that's why like insecurity is your greatest asset I feel yeah, yes. as, as a comic and like I'm not talking about like the crippling insecurity where like you need your friends to tell you you're great every fucking day yeah. I'm talking about like you see the joke and you're like oh, I could do that better or yes. that, that's hacky or this idea is and eh, it's not even fully formed yet Yes, because that I hopefully will stop you from putting out the work that is a little bit watered down version yeah. of what you did yes you know yeah. and, and Loki that, I think that's also why I wanted to I mean, not to harp on the special, but like I didn't want to put it out because like I have a little of that in the back of my head. Like I didn't want to be like the guy who did the comedy the exact way I wanted, and then the second I do the special, they see a watered down version of it, and it's like, yeah, you don't want to do that. Fuck that. Like I, and that then it becomes an easy decision, right? Because you're just like, oh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to sacrifice the integrity of the comedy. Yeah. So it's because that's decision. the thing I valued most. That like, of course, I don't know. I don't feel. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I never felt like, I don't feel like the, the check mark validates me or like the, the logo that puts out the special validates me yeah. as much as I do like selling tickets validates me. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's because that's my sign of success in the business. I didn't yeah. have that as much you know, early on. Sure. But like, you know, doing shows and having them sell out feels great because it it's like motherfuckers got a babysitter. They put mm -hmm. on clothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that is like real support. And- for me, I like that you know they're wearing clothing. That's yo, they wear clothing in my show. This clothes. ain't the relapse tour, <laughs> you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> you don't go shirtless like, to Schultz. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. For, so for me, like, no, it is. Yeah, that's that's the best. You know, the thing is, because uh, people, I'm doing a tour that's so aggressive. Dude, like, I, I, we got to talk about this. I know, it's so crazy. But they tell me they're like, how do you like? Don't how do you get amped up? How do you get amped up? Like on you know, the fucking ninth show of the week or something. And I go, you know, the thing that always, like sometimes you're like, Jesus Christ, you know, I'm just like so worn out. Yeah. It is actually opening Instagram and seeing your, what you're tagged in. And you see people are like, we're so going. Excited. And they're so excited. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah, go, so oh, I can't let them down. I got to. Yeah. yeah. And it, it immediately, no matter how much you're dragging, you're like, you see like a few of those and you're like, oh, yeah. I got to. That's this is what they're looking forward to, which like, is Gee. just like Garth. It's yeah. just like Garth. And then you see yeah. everyone just in the audience. <laughs> yeah. 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 You point to them and you say, "Hello, Susan yeah. from Wichita. I see yeah. you." Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. everyone right. I talk to. Yeah. No, I feel that. It's it exciting right to go here? back to another Garth Brooks concert. Is like you yeah. blew you blew them out of the waters. It's a special experience. Yeah. Yeah. How do you explain what is that? What is that special experience that people are getting? I, I wish I knew because I, I don't feel like it's anything crazy. I just feel like there's a connection. That's nice. Because when I go, try to remember, before you ever step on stage, you're a fan. And so we still go to concerts. Me and Michelle, sure we just went to Bruno. Uh, we went to uh, Urban, uh, JT. And in those moments when you're in that crowd, all you want is that artist to look at you for three seconds. And you can go, hey, man, thanks for your music. It's been cool. And as an entertainer, it's the same thing. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, could you imagine referring to... To your act, like first name, like we saw Andrew. Oh yeah, we saw Dave. Yeah, we saw Joe. You it's know. just so like. I'm a, and full I'm a name. fan. I'm a fan for, and I just start weeping. <laughs> like, I remember by love comedy. 
was a collapse. I saw Bruno. But how <laughs> weird for him to just say the 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 only one of the names. Well, yeah. I mean, he he knows. You know, he's like these are my peers. Urban. Also, he knows that even though he looks like he changed his tires, that he <laughs> sells so many more tickets than those guys. So many that's, more. That's always, I mean, yeah. It's, you want to talk about currency? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. He fucking he sells out though. stadiums in like 45 minutes. I know. Yeah. And I don't think he even has his music online to stream. No. Yeah. Right? It's so that? crazy, dude. Yeah. It's like has, Amazon or something, right? He had his own deal for that. Yeah. He got, he's, he's got it. But he's got it. He's got it. And but, he's got cool things. I don't know, like I, I try to take as much inspiration from like the the music world for shows and stuff. Like, yeah. But like, what is that? That one song where he'll play the third verse live. Oh, is I it don't know. Rolling Thunder. Rolling or it could be. So yeah, he has one where like there's a third verse, but it, the only time you get to hear it is, is live. live. Shut oh, up. so he's you. like baking things into the live experience. Like, yes. oh, I want to have that. I want to. How is this different from being at home? That's cool. The yeah. only thing I've heard from people because we've been talking about him for a while is yeah, that no, you guys his, have a lovely uh, relationship. <laughs> right? Is that yeah. his live show is epic? I mean, I've only heard that. I've ne- I've only have heard you people, not gone? I've never gone. Are they, you banned? I don't know if I'm allowed in. I mean, there's no way they'll be able to tell you apart from <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> You can just walk backstage. And they'll be like, good to see you, sir. Uh, yeah. I miss Yearwood. I heard, I heard it's it's a fucking unbelievable show. So what are we waiting for? Let's I go. Know, let's go. I'll go. I'll go. Should we go? We and- should get a section. Yeah. yeah. We should get a your yes. mom's house section. That's a great That's idea. Like, how do we get... 300 tickets yes and it's just one <laughs> yes. entire fucking section and it's it a should, great dude, idea that is a fantastic idea forget it's buying great. cars with bert yeah yeah like yes. just buy one dude if you want to troll this guy and yeah. then everybody <laughs> takes off their shirt yeah. and it's a i don't know what what Where is are the bodies thing? garth yes yeah and, and then it's up, just up front too. everybody else has like a shirt of bundy or gacy <laughs> and, him, and they're like you're in the club, like pointing to his shirts. <laughs> They're like, this is a fantastic idea. Yeah, it's a really good Dude. idea. Buy like a thousand seats in an area, you know, Asian it's just jeans. like a whole. I know you're listening to this. Yeah. Make it happen. I honestly think that you guys should do this. this I, no, think it's, I, I think it's a great idea. I mean, that is like national news. Yeah. It's so goddamn funny. Even if he doesn't like it, his fans have to like it. They'll like it. He doesn't like the fr- it. Uh, he, yeah, he won't like it. He's going to be furious. Yeah. But and that's what when if- we, we start busting out the signs, you know, everybody <laughs> give my mother back, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm with this. And, and I'm he starts to like out- looking at that section like, huh, what's that? <laughs> How do we turn the audience? How do we get them to sing? Yeah. Like who's, who's his rival? Right. Oh, he, interesting. That's true. Play blah blah blah. It's not even his songs. Like the whole section <laughs> yeah. starts going. Free play boo play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get like get out of the genre completely. Yeah. Play in vogue. And you're like what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go horribly wrong. Yeah, and I just wrong. I'm regretting yeah. even suggesting. This. No, that's a great idea. God, God, we have to do that. Such a good idea. Or yeah. just to inspire fans, like to yeah. wear these shirts to the concert. Oh, that, that I see all the time. Yeah, I see people. They're wear. trolling him with your. Yeah. Nice they stuff. wear our yeah. stuff to the shows, yeah. and they're at, and they take the picture. And there's even one of me in the shirt. Like it looks like him. It's just me, <laughs> um, and it's just like a total copy of his shirt. Like they, yeah, he does. I don't know. I'm just fascinated by the guy. Just, he's like this genuine, sincere, like emo. He gets he's, he cries in this. Yeah. In this interview right here, he yeah. cries. He's country music Tom Cruise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it very is. very good. Yeah. 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 He's like insulated completely. Totes. Totally. Yeah. Oh, like that shirt is. right there is exact copy design. of one of his shirts. Yeah, that's it's fire. so yeah. funny. That's... Cease and desist or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing yet? <laughs> Nothing yet. Good for him. But I did find out that he knows about it because <laughs> wait, wait, I met a promoter <laughs> okay. whose family member is like works with him every day, close with him. And so the promoter said, he goes, I'm, I'm, I'm with my family member. I don't try not to tell who, who it is. And they, he goes, you know, he knows the promoter. He goes, who are you working with this weekend? And the promoter goes, uh, Tom Segura. And that guy goes, you're going to work with that asshole? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, he's, I'm doing his show. And he goes, you know, he's, he's such a jerk uh, saying all this serial killer shit about Garth. And so the promoter goes, he said, he goes, I knew about it, but I acted like I didn't. And he goes, what are you talking about? And he goes, oh, he's just, he's just mean for no reason. And then the promoter said, does Garth know? And he goes, yeah, he knows. And he goes, is he mad at Tom or does he hate Tom? And the guy goes, Garth doesn't hate anybody. 
Oh. He hates you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He fucking that's, hates that's you. That's the southern <laughs> bless her heart. Yeah, that's bless his heart. How yeah. do we get you guys to reconcile and then like he oh brings God. you out I for just your want, next special? I want to <gasps> I, I want to be <gasps> such a good you know good like idea. this guy with the I would love to be like interviewing him. Oh my and he has God. no fucking clue. Oh, it would be amazing. Yeah, that would be the dream. Can't you can't you do that? Can't you pretend, be pressed? Like can we do why am I Dude, Ali G got everybody. You can definitely get Garth. Yeah, he's got to throw on a hat, right? Like yeah. A yeah. No, hat. you got that. Yeah. That's you got to apply to be press for yeah. whatever junket he's doing next, yeah. and you are technically you're the press. Media. You guys are journalists. Yeah. yeah, I think we should, babe. But yeah. I'm I'm wondering if there's like a way where you guys can kind of come together. Yeah, I yeah. mean, can you can you guys make a country song like? Can oh you? Oh my god! If he, here's can, the thing, what I if feel you guys like make the number one country song. <laughs> and he just has to sit there and listen to it every time he gets in the car. <laughs> it would be so I wish yeah. that he could he could make this so fun just by leaning into yeah. it like if no. one time you know yeah. we've made fun of people who their immediate response is like yep and they lean into it and then everybody just goes everybody I love this person great. Yeah. and if he would just be like you know the bodies are in my in my ranch in yeah. Oklahoma it, <laughs> yeah. everybody would lose fans. their fucking yeah. mind yeah but I don't think he will I think we should do a country song yeah you know, I, maybe we could have Wheeler help us old Wheeler oh Wheeler help us out yeah that'd be great yeah. <laughs> I mean dude imagine the Wheeler promo talks a lot of shit for too. your next fucking your next tour is just you doing a promo like normal it's almost like corny yeah and in the background like blurry you see somebody just digging a hole yeah <laughs> and it's him yeah like it's actually him Ain't jokes in here. And he just fucking like throws like that, oh like throws him over his shoulder. Amazing. Yeah, dude, that would be amazing. Can you imagine if he would do a promo with me? I mean, Fuck. why not? He's got all the money. You can't motivate him with money. No, you can no. only motivate him with a good time. Sure. And but also, he, he doesn't know what like the real world is. Like he's too famous, too crazy. That's celebrated. the problem. Like, so he needs somebody to tell him, like, hey, you know what you should do, man. You should do this thing with this guy. Everyone's going to love it, Garth. And he's like, everybody already loves me. Exactly. Wait, it's like that yeah. time where he decided to come on Facebook and let yes. the conversation begin. Yes. And if You we, saw that, right? No. <laughs> wait, but, wait, but wait, listen, wait, hold wait. on. If we could get hold his on. PR guy to convince him that he's he's opening a bigger conversation with the yeah. podcasting world. Yeah. There's got to be a way. I'm going to see if I can do this on this <laughs> Oh, my God, Andrew. Is it that way? Uh, wait, what happened? It's the great... I don't even want to tell it's you. It's what started it's us. It's the greatest... It's, so it is what started. I got it. Hold it's on. the very... <laughs> first clip we saw of him talking you've never seen this and we're like what is this dude it's so weird this is one of the but best I have things. a theory and see if you agree with me after you watch yeah this. okay yeah this. i don't want to tell you anything but this oh, is put your headphones on. Okay. yeah this this is uh holy shit dude this is how this started okay <laughs> so he wasn't on social media and then he <laughs> okay, okay. I think we got right here. well i guess it's official we're now on facebook I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. But I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. It allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case, the hotel room. Ugh. When I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. No, 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 but no. Most no. stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Raw stuff like this. This is just who I am. Ugh. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. So that was his introduction to social media. And that's why we first played him. We were like, what the fuck was that? You know, so, yeah, so Andrew, okay, so here's the deal. At first, I was like, this guy's off. Like, yeah. there's something inauthentic. I'm not reading, it, th it doesn't read. Yeah. I think he might be on the spectrum. Ooh. Because he's mimicking human emotion. At Ooh. times, he has emotions that are like inappropriate. Like, I've seen Elon Musk, who came out having as Asperge, as yeah. we say in Australia. Asperge. And <laughs> best show on TV. It's the best, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best show on TV. <laughs> the best show. The best. So, I don't think it's drugs. Or mental illness, I yeah. think he's autistic, and I think he's mimicking what he thinks a great country singer Would should do. be yeah. like in real life. Yeah, why are we so drawn to autistic people? 
because they can mimic what the expectations of a person are. Meaning he studied yeah. probably what he thinks a person should be like. And yeah. then he goes, okay, here's where I laugh. <laughs> Let yeah. the conversation. That's why it's all off. Yeah. There's no, there's no room for error. Cause it's not spontaneous. Well, this is like a great example of like, so <laughs> I'm put, still like reacting to from that. that right. Yeah, you're like, I, you I want to give like a witty fun response. Yeah. Right. But I'm like, how many years of living in a complete bubble do you have to have before you can do something like that with like zero embarrassment? Right. <laughs> like, fuck. Right. Like, I'm almost a little like sad. Yeah. yeah. Because, and also like, that's he what did, the show does to you, Andrew. You know, he did. Right? If you don't leave here feeling sad, and <laughs> then up, we didn't do it. This is not your mom's it's house. It's your mom's house, yeah. guys. Yeah. Feel sad. Uh, but dude, but like, and also the hotel room. The hotel, the hotel room. room? It's and, dark as shit. He doesn't turn a light And on. the whispers. St- like, it was a sexy voice. He, was, yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, I yeah. like that. Let the conversation begin. Yeah. yeah, it's like he's coming out. Yeah. yeah. Like, it felt like that a little bit. Like, it they did. said it's a little wild. That's exactly what it was. Let's give it a try. Yeah. He was, exactly he was coming was. out. He's getting rid of those walls. Uh, he's letting you in. This guy, <laughs> someone told him Facebook just means you're gay. Yeah. And he was like, I'll do the video. I'll do the video. <laughs> I'm going to do the video. I'm going to come out and I bet you they'll still come to the concert. Dude. And they still are. He has it no is, clue. It is the, it's the fucking cringiest thing I've ever but, seen. But notice too, he's always talking about wiping the walls away, communicating, yeah. getting closer to the fans because I think he knows that's what fans want. So he's thinking right. from backwards. Yeah. He's thinking yeah. from the outside in. This it's one. Like, you know what I mean? This, it's you're calculated right. as it's shit. It's calculated because yeah. yeah. he was like, the, the, that person who was like, this is what people are doing, G. Yeah. You know, he was like, oh, all right. And he's like, yeah. I, I like that. And, and like, yeah. so he did what he's like, maybe they'll like what I just did. The Ukraine one. That was a weird is, one. You got to see this one. Is, headphones. He, put yeah, your put your headphones on, headphones on for this yeah. one. Yeah, buckle up. Because this one just has, it's a it's a plea to, to raise fundraising, uh-huh. but it has one oh moment God. where this you're one's like, 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 why did you think, and then why did you air this? Why didn't you do a take two, right? Like, Hey everybody, Garth Brooks. And Trisha Yearwood. And we're proud to say we We stand stand with with Ukraine, Ukraine, especially the refugees. There's a global initiative and of course supplies and aid is already spread thin. And this is where you come in. We need your help. We need you to donate. Yeah, I mean, we we always ask for love and prayers. Please keep doing that. But we're also going to ask you, dig in your pockets. Be part of the greatest global relief plan mankind has ever seen. Everybody deserves dignity. Everybody deserves a roof over their head to feel safe. You can be a part of that. Yeah, amen. So join us, won't you? Stand up for love. Stand up for mankind. <laughs> Stand, Stand up, up for Ukraine. Ukraine. Why did he laugh there? I, I I just can't get over. Is that his wife? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just a shocking resemblance to Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> like a an absolute shocking resemblance. I can't. I, I honestly, I tuned out the whole so thing. Cool. I tuned out because everything going on here. So, is that a Kaepernick hat? Definitely not. That's would be that would be shocking. But yeah. seven is Cap's number, right? I think you're right. Um, for sure, that's like how many fucking Notre Dame stadiums he sold or something. I don't know what it is. But okay. Oh, it has yeah. something to do with like him and his. I'm mark. sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. But there's the, that a little part. laugh at the end. There. <laughs> He yeah, goes, stand up, stand up for humanity. <laughs> and stand up for Ukraine. And like, what the fuck just happened there? Oh, he's out of it, huh? Yeah, he yeah. just doesn't know what's happening he's there. He's disconnected, yeah. guys. I'm telling you. And also when he does this politician thing, the greatest humanitarian effort. That's what that's what Obama was doing. Train, yeah. we're going to make train. It's the same politician. He's yeah. mimicking what people act like. And there's nothing spontaneous. But you know what? Maybe. <sighs> it's creepy. Go ahead. You know how like you can't stop watching the the show Love on the Spectrum. You can't yeah. just stop observing them. And they're like, just fun to just watch because you never know what's gonna happen and like you know it's gonna be like pure raw honesty. Like yeah. and you know like <laughs> yeah, the I love fucking that. like even the people who are good reality stars. Yeah, they uh, they require a little bit. <laughs> they, they require a little like lack of self awareness. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's what I have. Yeah. Well, you might be good at reality. I was on Road Rules back in the 90s. Wait, really? What yeah. season? Season six, Australia, mate. With whom? Um, Piggy, Chadwick. The guy who got like the burns or whatever. He got like cuts in his arm. He like. like... Um, he had a t- tiger tattoo over his heart because this girl broke his heart. Um, Susie Meister 
And um, who else? We were like really young. It's a million years ago. I'm trying to remember the cast. Even but you know the people who are really good are the ones that like don't. Psychos. Yeah, they're, they're psychos. But they're like, yeah. they have to be kind of funny, but they can't really be aware about how embarrassing they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, that's yeah, why you can't look yeah. away. Because you're like, yeah. oh my God, you're going to cause a problem in this situation yeah. and not give a flying fuck. That's why it's so good. Like Jersey Shore was so good. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. That that show was fucking incredible. Show. Like people, people act like it's a joke now. Like Snooki was like a punchline for a sure. while. Yeah, but like okay. it was appointment television it really was yes. yeah you didn't miss, i mean if Fantastic. you missed it you're like we got us like yeah i want to see these uh, if because they felt like caricatures there's cartoons feel, yeah, yeah cartoons. i have to tell you a lot of celebrities come to the comedy store and the night Polly d showed up yeah. was the greatest night of my life Why, yeah. what happened? Like, don't care about the big ones you know jennifer yeah. Ant, who cares yeah it, it was Polly d like yeah. just he was backstage and i was like <sighs> <laughs> Well, yeah, it's just like normal to me like yeah. hey retard you yeah. know yeah. I, like, <laughs> yeah. I fucking yeah. love you um, hey so did you grow up in the city yeah you did oh, so you're a New cool. York kid yeah. and you you love hip hop right yeah you grew up yeah, with that yeah. Yeah. so they they suggested this and I think it's a good idea okay I used to play this game with a lot of guests okay no, you're called not. uh no, you're not. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Because you're uh, a hip hop head. I, I am, but th it's, this isn't a hip hop game. Okay. It's just, uh, it's really Are you about. Are going to make me say a word we shouldn't no, say? No. <laughs> it's, it seems like yeah. we're going yes. in that direction. It's about having a tuned ear, is what it's about. Ah. So okay. you have to put those on again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but the game is I have called. Ear. Tuned ear, spelled yes. E R. <laughs> 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 the game, Andrew, is called Tom or Black. And what okay. it is, it's an audio clip. <laughs> And then you just tell me if it's me or, or a black guy. Or a black guy talking. Yeah. Got yep. you. That's it. And these are, they're just short clips. You can play them. You can ask for repeats. Yep. And then it's just, you know, you just. And if I guess the actual black guy, what happens then? So wait, we'll just, we'll, we'll go in order. Okay. And then um, when we're done with it, yep. we'll just reveal the answers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, and if you actually know the black guy's name, that'd be great. That's a bonus point. We'll yeah. give you two points if you can name the black person. If I can name the black yeah. person. hundred yeah. percent. Got okay. it. Ready? Go. Here we go. Number I got this. One. This is the easiest thing I've okay. ever done. Go. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Fuck me in my ass, man. Okay. First of all, I know the exact video it's from. <laughs> Country ass town. Pollen. Right? And that's the reporter. The black reporter. No. That's you? I'm not saying who we it is. Reveal. I'm just saying that it's... I know what video you think this is, and this is not that. Is but. that right? Let me hear it one more time. Fuck me in my ass, man. <laughs> Such a great, great fucking with my ass, man. I'm gonna say black guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, I thought I had that one. Did you mark it? Thank you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Do they have black people in love on the spectrum? <laughs> Is there a black guy on that show? Are black guys autistic? <laughs> Wow, that's a really There's good question. Be, Are Asians autistic? I didn't know that wow. there was... No, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know that they had um, fucking Down syndrome in other countries. I know. You don't really see that. I'm being... I'm no, not, you I'm don't not, see No, 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 no. Because, no, no. like, I, you know, you've never, like, you've never been in Venice and you see one on, like, a bridge or something like that. I like, But I think it might be an American thing. Right. Well, I remember the first I time I saw right. an Asian person. Uh, you thought that it was... I was just like, oh... Right. Like, you're the first Asian person I've seen. Yeah. I always saw white kids, like, in school. Because you grew up in, in Ohio. In Ohio yeah. and Minneapolis. Like, you just yeah. see white kids, you yeah. know, at school or, or not at school, but well, the grocery grew, store. You grew up in Jew Dork Titty, so there must be a lot of, there's everybody. I thought it was only Jews. I asked my dad when I was young. <laughs> I swear to God. I asked my dad when I was in kindergarten. I said, I, why are we not Jewish? Yeah. And and my dad was like, well, you're Schultz, though, you're not. Which is even more confusing, imagine. Yeah. Everybody thinks I'm Jewish. I think you're Jewish. Thought Most you're people Jewish. thought I was. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. As far as I know, right? They, you know, it was, so wait, is Schultz not? It's technically German or oh, Russian, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But uh, there's some people in the family that are like, so uh, you're connected, you know? My, you know, yeah. it wasn't great to be Jewish at certain times, yeah. so they might have switched it up. Oh, right, right, uh, right. Yeah, type of thing. So who knows? But um, but yeah, with the fucking Down syndrome thing, I n I've never seen one abroad. Yeah. Mm. I thought about that. Maybe well, you have to spend more time in other countries. Like I like, lived. I, I, I lived oh, yeah? abroad. I used to live in Spain. I never yeah. saw a single one. Wow. Do you think they have, have abortions more readily, maybe? Like, when they know it's going to be a cousin? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what city did you live in? Uh -huh. What city? Uh, Barcelona. 
Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I Have, believe it's Barcelona, isn't well, it? Well, well, well. <laughs> if you're a true Catalan, yeah, it's Barcelona. Oh, wow. I did not know They got know their that. own language out there. Hey, you know what I mean? They got yeah. their own. But you're right. Barcelona. That's no, what, I that's what the Spaniards were saying. Yeah. I got rid of that lisp quick. Yeah. <laughs> if you come back here. Yeah. 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 You can't do that shit. Um, um, okay. okay. What so, would I say? Who that was? Damn it. I think that's you. Hold on. Number three. Here we go. Yep. They won't play the weed. Say it one more time. Give me that one more time. Yep. One more time. One second. One second. They won't play the weed. Sean King. That's Sean King. 100%. Okay. Next one. You didn't come to the party. That's you. Wow. Why you didn't even hesitate? He's, I like the immediate answers. Those are, yep. That's when you, somebody has a good ear. Let go, man. Not that. you. Let go, man. I don't even think that's a black guy. I think that is a hundred percent Chinese person. Wow! Play that one more time. You think we're okay. gonna trick you? Let go, man. That is a city. A city <laughs> in China. <laughs> that is a hundred percent. Okay. Ay ay ay! Those guys are having fun. Let me hear that one again. Ay ay ay! I can't imagine you giving that much effort in. <laughs> In, in anything, so I'm gonna say a black guy. <laughs> I just can't imagine you. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I left a wallet there. You. Cry, he came through. You. <laughs> Even if it's not you, it's funny if it's you. Don't compliment that bitch. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You did pretty well. Okay. What do we got? Give All right. Me. So this first one Fuck me my ass, man. that you thought was the reporter yeah. was really a homeless guy <laughs> laying on his back and he's saying, fuck me in my ass, man, to an imaginary person. Fire. Yeah. He's getting, it's homeless but man gets raped by gay ghost. You did say black. So, so I was points. right. Your points. 100%. Yeah. Good job. I knew. I knew. It was yeah. authentic. I knew. Uh, this one. God damn it. You said me. Mm -hmm. It was actually a black guy who just finished uh, having an orgasm in a porn. I don't know if that's true, dude. Yeah. I, I think you might be off on that one. And it was his. He, he actually says it in multiple. It's like his. Uh, <laughs> It's his call sign. He always goes, God damn it. Yeah. Oh, that sounded freakishly familiar. Yeah, but, did. <laughs> did, but that, that's not me, I swear. Uh, the next one. Oh, you said <laughs> you, you, you named Sean King. They won't yeah. Play the we did. Yeah, and that's me. That was a really Which is a Sean King is what? Uh, a, a activist? And he a Caucasian male. Uh, <laughs> so technically uh, I'm right with Sean King. Okay. I need points for that one. <laughs> You guys got to get Sean King on the show. Oh, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'd be great. I don't know if he would come on this show. Um, you didn't come with the product. You said that was me? Yep. And that was. The next one. What were you even saying there? You need to come to the party. And then they've distorted it? No, there was no distortion. That's You actually can get that high? Well, I think I can't now. I recorded it a few years ago. Okay. It, was, it was something like, you didn't come to the party. Like that kind of thing. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the next one was. Let go, man. That one is you were close, like, my dude. You that, think I, that better not be you? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, right. Just lie. I Whatever think, you do right now, lie. Yeah. You said that was a city. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A yes. City. And that is a black guy. Um, so Good. You got that right. You got that right. Um, yeah. you got that right, man. You got. I think you only got one wrong so far. Wow. Um, Good ear. Yeah. City you boy, said but New York City. Ay, ay, ay. That this would never be my effort. That's so not so true. That's not you. That's unshine. No You're right. Yeah. He he does other things like I'm coming to get that booty. That's all fire. Yeah, that's <laughs> fire. Him. That's him. Yeah. I'm coming at your fate. That's, that's fire. Fate. This is what that cool. homeless guy was thinking about. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, this one you said I left a wallet there. You said that was me. Yep. Yeah. And that was me doing a prank phone call. That was good. Yeah. That was good. That was a pretty good one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a whole phone that. call where I'm talking to uh, a, a barbershop. Can I them. tell you what, what gave it away? Yeah. Someone who left their wallet would never call it a wallet. Oh. Oh, yeah. <gasps> uh, yeah. You're right. 
I left a wallet there. I left my wallet. Yeah. Shit, you're right, Andrew. Yeah, you're All right. these years, literally, we've had that. It's the only person that's ever said that for a decade. Yeah. And, and by the, the way, first person to point that out. I want to say something. Many, many black people have gotten that wrong. <laughs> Many. That's true. We what can I say? Fooled yep. many black people. Um, then this next one. Cry, he came through. You said me. Correct. Yeah. And then this last one. Don't compliment that bitch. You said it was you. Yep. <laughs> Correct. You got all but one. All but one. Wow. Yeah, what, was yeah. the one, what was the one I got wrong? You got mm. uh, you got the Sean Sean King. No. You got two wrong or one wrong? I might have got two. This one. Uh, Zolo says two. Yeah, I think the second. Dude, and I can't third. stop. Oh, second and third. Bro, You're right. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> sorry. You got know, this right? wrong. Like, you got. You got. God. You got. God damn it, wrong. God damn. Oh you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was good. And you're right. So you got two wrong. You got two wrong. But Are you good? You good with the accents and stuff? I think what? I'm worse now because I haven't been practicing as much. Yeah. There yeah. was a time on this podcast where he was known as the master of accents. Yeah. And he could replicate anything. Really? Yeah, but you you, you know, you have to work the muscle, man. Yeah. Like, I haven't been doing it as much. So. That's true, Tom. Listen, don't be defensive. My confidence is saying, shot. No. <laughs> so, no, that was fun. Um, all right. Oh, that was so fucking great. Thank yeah, you for indulging me. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, I want to point out again that people have an opportunity right now. How long do they get to stream it for? Forever. Forever. Yeah. Nice. So once they, what is it? Yeah, that? they'll have like, uh, they have like a two week window to, to, to buy it. And we might extend that after talking to you. Yeah. But like uh, once they get it, then we'll also send them a link and they can just keep it in perpetuity. Oh, that's nice. Because if they're going to buy it, they deserve to, yeah, you to it. own it. That's you know a good I mean? That's a good that's move. Cool. And I also got to say, you guys were a huge inspiration for this because I saw you guys doing that over the pandemic. You guys were doing the live shows. Yes. And I remember after I filmed this special, I met you guys for the first time at yes. the Paramount. That's I right. I remember. Yeah. yeah. So we were filming that day before. And then yeah. somebody was like, yeah, uh, Tom and Christina are actually in the Paramount right now. Go say hi. And I was like, I would like to meet them. And, yeah. and I came and I saw you guys. And, and yeah, I just saw you guys blow that live thing up. And it really like I know Louis has also sold his thing. Very yeah, yeah. But I never knew how it did, and so it was like, for me, I, I, it was obviously inspirational to do that. You know, all credit to him for that. But like, when I saw you guys doing it and people saying how successful they were, I was like, oh, people have an appetite for this. Yep. They'll want to do this even after you can still go outside. They still want to take part of this experience. I know my my boy Stylebender was watching them. You know, Israel. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. He loves them. He was posting them. So I was like. Oh, this is a thing that people, if you have a fucking built in community, you have people that support you. Yep. They want to do it. So um, thank you guys very much for that. No, and thank man. you. It and would honestly, not happen if you guys did not do that. No, Andrew, we love you. And and we appreciate what you're doing, and our audience appreciates you too. Yeah, and I think I actually, real shit, man. this real. is already, you know, like I said, been going for a minute for you now. This is a few days after it airs, but I think this is going to be a wildly successful venture yes, for you. Thank you, man. I yes. so too. And I appreciate yeah. all the advice. You know, Absolutely. I was calling you, and you were, you were giving me a lot of good advice about this process. So I appreciate that. Shit. 100%. Anytime. And yeah. um, so go to the Andrew Schultz.com. There's no T. A lot of you are misspelling it. That would be Jewy, right? That um, would probably be Jewy. Yeah. 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 So Jew it down, drop the T, <laughs> and Andrew Schultz, infamous. It's available now at theandrewschultz.com. Uh, don't forget to check out his podcast, Flagrant, um, that you do. Uh, is it weekly? It is weekly. Yeah, right? yeah. We do a couple a week. You yeah, and, yeah. Um, uh, how do I say his name? Akash. Akash. You Akash. And Akash. Yeah. And um, yeah, that looks like a fun hang. Wait, I got to do that. You got to do that. Yeah. I wanted you on when you were in New York. I know. But you, I know. Are, you are yeah. ramped. Fucking busy. Okay. Um, we'll do it again. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. And, um, thank you, guys. Thank you. See you guys next time. It was thank awesome. You. Hi, mommy. What's up, everyone? In the dark. In the dark. In the dark. In the dark. 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 Blippy, blippy, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blippy, 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 blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Machines were there. Blippy, blippy, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blippy, 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 blah, 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 blah. Machines were there. T16, trying to make my rap. Got a gun, I got a gun, yeah. Terminator gun, I don't give a F. F. The haters, F all the haters. Much love, no hate. Machines were there. Blippy, blippy, blah, 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 blah. Blippy, 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 blah, 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 blah. Machines were there. Blippy, blippy, blah, 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 blah. 
Blippi, 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 bla 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 bla. Shoes were thin. Shoes were thin. Blippi, 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 shoes were thin. Bla 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 bla. Shoes were thin. Shoes were thin. Did you like that full episode of your mom's house? Are your jeans as high and tight as they can be? I doubt it. Watch some more clips, dude. Look at that one. Watch that one right here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe Maybe you should subscribe. That way, every time a new video gets posted, you'll be notified. Stay in the know, jeans. Subscribe now.